how to fix the issue of unit of measure defined but not appearing in transactions so this is an issue i have faced um, while carrying out some work in oracle fusion cloud and uh, after some amount of digging i found the root cause and uh, i believe this issue can happen to anyone who define a custom unit of measure and if it's not appearing in the transactions so let's go and first try to replicate the issue and then we'll understand the solution okay so i'm going to first go into oracle fusion cloud instance and there we'll try to replicate the issue first all right so here i am in oracle fusion cloud instance and you see presently we are on release 13 with a version of uh, 21d which is supposed to be the latest at the moment okay having said that i'm going to close this the first thing i'm going to do is i will simply go to offering and change the offering to let's say procurement and within procurement i would look for something like a unit of measure task okay so i'll simply type unit and hit the search button and that would lead me to a place wherein i can define manage unit of measure so you click on this task and again once again click on manage unit of measure and here you see you can search for all existing unit of measures by clicking on the search button like this so whatever is previously defined will be shown over here or alternatively you can give a search criteria over here and search so you know what i wanted to define something something as an example like box so the first thing i will do is search for the box unit of measure if it is there then we'll try to name it something slightly different but uh, my idea is to replicate the issue so let's see box is there no it's not there what about something starting with just b and then if i say percentage okay so all the unit of measure starting with b are shown over here so box isn't there so all i'm gonna do is hit the plus icon to add or create a new unit of measure and here i'm gonna give a code of box name also i'm gonna give as box okay description also box and class name i would give some class name so let's say you see something like quantity as the class hit the ok button and uh, rest of uh, the one like base unit of measure is coming automatically as ea each and that's all you have to do and hit the save button so i have saved this and this will be saved in the database next thing i'm going to do is once again search to see i'm getting box defined so as you could see the box unit of measure is now defined so what i will do now is switch the user to a transactional user and we'll try to do a transaction using this particular unit of measure and see whether it's appearing in that transaction or not okay all right so here i am logged in as a buyer and let's go into navigator in hamburger menu uh, from here i'm going to navigate to say procurement and within procurement i'm going to go into purchase requisitions like this and within purchase requisition you see uh, there are a number of forms which you can potentially use to order something so let's say i click on something like this can't find what you need click here so basically this is a smart form which has been previously defined let's see whether it allows us to choose a unit of measure and here i am so let's say some description i gave uh, say order for 10 boxes and here i will give a category of uh, say miscellaneous and quantity i would say 10 then i come to unit of measure name and here i would look for our unit of measure that we defined which is nothing but 
starting with bo and full thing is box so i have just written two letters so that so that it uh, shows and pulls up the box you want to measure and as you could see um, the box unit of measure isn't showing here so i'm going to try the other way i will simply go into search and here i will write the whole thing and hit the search button you see we are not getting any output at all so that is the issue so this is how i have replicated the issue the issue now is very clear we have defined a unit of measure but it's not appearing in transactional forms so how do i go about fixing this let's go back to setup and maintenance and in the same place where we have defined the unit of measure so i'm going to go there so i'm back here now what is missing over here in the setup is that you basically have to make a relationship between unit of measure code and unit of measure class so basically here we have given a class name of quantity but nowhere we have specified that a box should contain these many items of quantity within that right and uh, that's where i believe you have to go into let's let's see this first just to make sure so this is just the definition of class and i just wanted to show you that basically here is the class called as quantity would have been defined can you see that uh it's not the one i was looking for but should be over here somewhere so um we have to search for it Let's say Q. Yeah, someone has uh, changed the code to five, but class quantity is there, right? It's a bit uh, uh, something I don't like. Something of these kind of naming conventions. So um, let it be, not a problem. Um, at least the class of quantity is there. with a base unit of measure name as ea okay so that we have verified after that what you do is you go into you you make sure your cursor is in on to the box uh, unit of measure and then you go into manage uom standard conversion and this is where we will define the conversion between box and quantity so you see presently there is no conversion defined can you see that unit of measure name i have given as box no conversion defined so you click the add icon and then you define the conversion unit of measure is box right and conversion is one box contain how many of each so 12 each it contains right and the class name is quantity and then you do this you save this record okay now this record has been saved once you search it again this record would be shown you see okay now this is all you have to do so you have to basically make sure that after you define the unit of measure you have to define the conversion of that particular unit of measure with its associated base unit of measure all right so in this case box is associated with a base unit of measure of of uh, class name having quantity with a base uom as each so we have just defined the relationship now we'll go back to the transaction and see whether it appears there or not all right so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come out of this particular form by hitting done button and we'll restart this process once again and i'm going to and go into this smart form once again click on this particular smart form and there let's say i will give once again i will give the description see then boxes okay some category you give say i'll give miscellaneous quantity 10 and then come out here in unit of measure name and this time hopefully it will appear can you see that now box is coming up and last time it wasn't coming so basically the root cause of the issue is we have defined the unit of measure but we didn't define the conversion of unit of measure with 
the base unit of measure and this is how you go about fixing the issue thanks for watching